let's do a problem to illustrate what we've just done here. This is a problem 3.23 of ball. We have 4 liters of argon and 2.5 liters of helium, each at 298 and 150 atmosphere. They mix isothermically and isobarically. So constant temperature, constant pressure, just like we talked about in the previous slide. The mixture was then expanded to a final volume of 20 liter at 298. Determine the change in entropy for the complete process. So it looks like we have two contributions to entropy. First, we're mixing the two gases. And then once the gases are mixed, we then are expanding them. So entropy is a state function. So we say that the total entropy change will be the entropy change due to mixing plus the entropy change due to expansion. We just talked about how to calculate entropy change of mixing. So the entropy change of mixing will be the entropy change of argon mixed, mixing, plus the entropy change of helium due to mixing. And so we have a couple ways, a couple equations to use. Which one should we use? Well, let's use this one, although you could, if you want, do it yourself. You can use this one to a mole fraction. But let's use volumes just for fun. Delta S for argon mixing will be equal to plus, this is a plus, number of moles of argon times R times the natural log of the volume total divided by the volume occupied argon. The number of moles of argon, hmm, let's see if we can go back and find that out, not given. However, the volume, the temperature, and the pressure of argon are given, and we're assuming an ideal gas so that uh, we can use number of moles of argon is the pressure times the volume divided by RT. Pressure was 1.5 atmosphere. The volume of argon, let me just check that, 4.0 liter. R, appropriate value of R is 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And the temperature, absolute temperature given in the problem, 298 and plug this into our calculators and what we find is 0 0.245. So there's the number of moles of argon, R we know. Total volume, see what's V total? Well, what we're doing is we're mixing 4 liters and 2.5 liters. So the total volume here is 6.5 liters. So delta S for the argon, is the number of moles of argon, 0.245 mole times R, 8.2. 314 joule per mole Kelvin times the natural log of the fi final volume 6.5 liter over the initial volume. Initially argon was in 4.0 liter and so this comes out 0 0.989. You do the same kind of calculation for helium. You can do that on your own if you want. And by the way, where the units here, moles cancel out this is unitless, this is joule per Kelvin. It's the same thing with helium, it's 1.215 joule per Kelvin. Note that the entropy change of mixing for helium was greater than that for the argon. You can, and this is an ideal gas, so you cannot explain the difference due to the difference in properties of argon and helium. So why is that? Let's look back here. Helium initially was at 2.5 liters and it now expands into 6.5 liters. That's a bigger expansion, a lot more volume for helium to expand in and therefore the entropy change for helium would be greater than that for argon. Argon goes from 4 to 6.5 liter, not as much volume change as helium. So helium would have the bigger entropy change and that's what we find. So that the total entropy change due to mixing is 0.989 plus 1.215, or now maybe I should reduce some significant figures here, 2.2 joule per Kelvin. All right, so that's what delta S for mixing is. And uh, we said after we mix, then we expand it. We expand it from our combined total volume after mixing, 6.5 liter, to 20 liter. And again, same temperature, but we're just changing now the volume, which implicit means we're changing the, the uh, pressure. Okay, so now for the second stage, delta S, now we're going to calculate for the 
expansion, that will just be the number of moles. And now we have a mixture. We have argon plus helium, so it'll be the total number of moles times R times the natural log of the final volume, which you said was 20 liter. The initial volume was 6.5 liter. Total number of moles, we showed the calculation for uh, he, uh, argon, 0 0.245 mole of argon. And if you do the calculation for helium, which we didn't do, but we left to the reader, 0 0.153 mole of helium. So that's the total number of moles. R, 8.314 uh, joule per mole, I'll omit the units here, times the natural log of 20 over 6.5. And you plug all this into the calculator and you get um, 3.72, 3 0.72 joule per Kelvin. And therefore the total entropy change for both processes would be the entropy of mixing plus the entropy change for expansion. And the mixing we found was 2.20 joule per Kelvin and the expansion was 3.72 joule per Kelvin. So the total comes out to be 5.92 joule per Kelvin. Right, so that's how one uses the entropy of mixing in order or how one calculates the entropy of mixing if you're just taking two gases and mixing them together. That's the end of this part of the lecture.